Hello, this is a video of literal nonsense. It's bloops from another video that you will never see. Enjoy! Alright. Third time of this chart. And you say, oh. <laughs> I have filmed this video three times. Actually, five times, and I have officially given up. You will never see this video. <laughs> no more! And we're gonna keep this one. I can feel it. That deserves to enjoy his final hours. I can feel it. We got to, because I don't have any more time to film it, so. I have, oh, fucking fantastic. My gardeners just got here. Do we wake them out? You tell me. Celine Dion write the original? Thank you. I wonder that too. Because when the Titanic came out, wasn't Celine Dion like four years old? Right? Who wrote the original My Heart Will Go On? Alexa, what year did the Titanic movie come out? The film Titanic came out in 1997. It was directed by James Cameron and starred Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in the lead roles. By the way, you have a new notification. Do you want to hear it? Sure. One new notification. For I guess we'll never know. The Titanic came out a year after I was born. No fucking way. Okay. I think I'm getting it confused because the actual Titanic was like in like the 1800s. That's too far. Like the 1920s. So, no, Celine Dion was well in, uh, in her 20s in like 97. I'm assuming so. Alexa, how old was Celine Dion in 1997? Celine Dion turned 29 on March 30th, 1997. She was born in 1968. Yeah, so that makes sense. So Celine Dion was the original My Heart Will Go On. That's crazy. That's 
crazy. Why would I even question that that fucking icon? She's a legend. A legend. I was thinking about um this I'm about to go on a two hours tangent about Hercules, the Disney movie and Greek mythology. So spoiler warning for Hercules. Sure. Of Megara from Hercules. And what a fucking iconic line. First of all, what an iconic way to introduce a character. She literally, okay, she, first of all, she's being like manhandled by this centaur. And, and she, and then like Hercules comes and she's like, I don't need you. Like, put your muscles away. It's it's hilarious, but like I got this. And then and then she goes, This is my favorite thing ever. And I this is why Hercules is such an underrated movie. And I will die on this hill. <sighs> nobody when everyone's like what like thinks of a Disney movie, nobody puts respect on Hercules' name. And it really irritates me because it's it's my favorite Disney movie. It's so good. But this is how she introduces herself. And this is when you know, like, this is going to be a banger of a movie. She goes, she goes, the she goes, hi, my name is Megara. Meg, if I had any friends. <laughs> my friends call me Meg if I had any friends. And that was just like right there. Right there is when I knew this is the movie. <laughs> Are you uh, all right, Miss uh... Megara? My friends call me Meg. At least they would if I had any friends. So, <laughs> did they give you a name along with all those rippling pectorals? Uh. This is the move, and that fucking plot twist. Oh, that betrayal when Hercules is like, "I fuck, I love you," and you're working with him, and she's like, "Baby, I don't have a choice." He's he owns me, and Hercules is like, I don't want to hear it, bro. And Pegasus is like, Dog, I told you she was a rat, she was for the streets. I didn't trust her for a second. And Phil was like, I told you, love hurts, bitch. And then Hercules was like, Hercules does the dumb thing that everyone does when they're in love, the dumb fucking thing where he's like, I don't care, I love her. She can hurt me a thousand times. I love her. And Meg was like, I love you, baby. I love you. And Hades is just there being like, listen, I want to take over the world because my brother Zeus, kind of a dick. Listen, I'm not saying Hades did a good thing or had, he went about it the wrong way. But I am a Hades defender. I will. They need to respect him more. He is one of the top three. You're just gonna throw him away like trash? He deals with so much and nobody cares. No one cares about what he feels. And I just, I, I agree. Do you need to kill your nephew? No. Do you need to do, you know, steal a baby, kidnapping, and then basically human trafficking because he leaves the kid. Well, honestly, honestly, he didn't do that. It was the little idiots, pain and panic. They were supposed to, it was supposed to be clean, clean shot wipe him out but they they fucked up so that's the plot of hercules <laughs> i watched a fucking two hour long youtube video on every <laughs> on how historically accurate Hercules is from like actual Greek mythology. I love Greek mythology. I, this is my favorite book. Oh, I hurt my shoulder. So 
bear with. This is my favorite fucking book. I got this from the last bookstore. I remember reading this in seventh grade. Uh, the one I had in seventh grade was a yellow hardback, but I got this one and uh, it just has all of the Greek stories in it. The Greek God stories. I, I love this book. This book makes me happy. I'm like, oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. And it tells you like the stories behind like why spiders are called arachnids and, and, um, just like, I just love it. I just fuck it. This is the, this is the story of Persephone and why we have winter and spring. That was the one, honest, honest to God, that was the one shady thing Hades did. Other than that, he was like the least problematic guy in all of Greek mythology. So this is when the gays were fighting each other. Lit okay, two gays, two gays wanted one, one twink and they ended up killing him. And that is why we have the flower called, um, not hibiscus. Holy fuck, what's that flower called? I love it, it's such a pretty flower. It's an H one. Oh my God, what's that flower called? Uh, what is that flower called? I cannot believe I forgot. That's like one of my favorite stories. What's that flower called? It's high something. fuck is that flower called? Hi. Hi. Oh my god. This is gonna drive me fucking insane. Oh, Orpheus. That's such a sad story. I love reading like think pieces on Orpheus and like Eurydice and what people think about it. Oh my God, how funny, we were just talking about Hercules, which actually is actually pronounced Heracles. Um, that's why you'll see it spelled funny sometimes. But like, like if you go to the Getty Villa, they have a whole section on Heracles and he's spelled like this, not like the Disney spelling Hercules <laughs> because it's not Hercules, it's Heracles. Clap if you care. Um, and the 12, technically my guy did 14 because Hera was being a bitch. Um, he did a couple extra I did this and Hera was like, actually you didn't, so go back, do it again. And he was like, okay, bet. Such a bitch, dude. Hera was a bitch. Hera was a bad person. And everyone was just like, that's Hera. <laughs> gotta, gotta love her. And and Zeus was like, that's my girl. Even Zeus was scared of her. He's like, I don't, I don't want to deal with her, dude. I don't want to deal with this bitch. Hi, Hyanthus? Yes! <laughs> yes! That should be the number one answer. Hi. Hydrangeas. 
Hydrangeas, I think, are the flowers. Hey, pal. You just blowing from stupid town? And his name was something wild, like high something. Right? Have you ever heard this, the story of Pandora? Pandora's box. I hate, I hate it. I don't hate it. I just don't like the connotation it gives women. Or how Artemis was born out of a headache. <laughs> I think that one's funny. I could literally go on and on and on. I love telling my nieces about these um, stories. Well, they're young, so they don't understand what the hell I'm saying. And so they just look at me like, what are you talking about? A man turned into a flower. And I'm like, you'll get it one day. And then you, you'll actually get the underlying story of what jealousy does. It can make you hurt the thing you love. Anyways, my gardeners are gone now. So <laughs> let's film this video. Well, that was 16 minutes and 28 seconds. You will never get back. Hope you enjoyed. Be kind, drink some water, and I'll see you soon. Kisses, Steph and Judy.